All right, that is it. There is only 24 hours, one measly day left to go. Tomorrow, side characters will be out in the world. If you haven't got your copy of Eight Steps to Side Characters, How to Craft Supporting Roles with Intention, Purpose and Power, go get it. There are only 24 hours left until it's out and you can have your hands all over the book. But that aside, we are here for the final tip Today I am talking all about character arcs. Yesterday we learned that there are three types of side characters, major, minor and cameo. Major side characters are the only ones who really ought to have character arcs. But as I mentioned in some of the earlier videos, you only get so much page time with a side character. So how do you create the illusion of a full of depth character with a full character arc when you only have so many pages? Because of course the only character who can take up all of the pages and go into depth on their character arc is the protagonist. Well, first of all, you need to understand the basics of what you need for a character arc, which are a side character wanting or needing something, the side character not being able to get the thing, the side character grappling or doing something or aiming for, attempting, changing, marching, stabbing, shoving, killing, whatever, doing something to get said goal, and then a conclusion. So either they achieve the thing, they kill the guy, they win the game, they have all the sex, or they don't. That is the basis of a character arc. With your protagonist, you're going to see every single step of that along the way. You're going to see all the plot complications. You're going to see the opportunities for change and where they might fail to change. You're going to see that, that inch by inch change in the protagonist. But with the side character, you're not going to have that. You need to show the start. What do they originate in? What is their original form? How are they flawed? What is it they are after? You have to show that. Then you have to show the end result. What is it they they wanted did they get it did they not get it how did that affect them and then you may want to show one or two scenes or one or make one or two mentions in the middle of your story somewhere of course if you're writing a really big book then maybe you have the opportunity to do a few more than that but the basic the minimum character arc are the beginning the end and something in the middle bonus points go to anybody who can make the side characters character arcs and journeys into intersect with the protagonist. Maybe the protagonist is the problem. Maybe the protagonist helps the side character to overcome their flaw. Maybe they're an obstacle. If you can make the side character's subplot and character arc interact with the protagonist's journey, then all the better. This makes your story feel that much more holistic and comprehensive. If you would like to go into a lot more detail on character arcs, then you can do so by getting that thing, you know, the book, the book I've been talking about all week. You can get a copy by pre-ordering it today or you could just buy it tomorrow. But what it's like? It is eight steps to side characters, how to craft supporting roles with intention, purpose and power. You can get it on any store, literally any single store, whether it's Apple or Kobo or Barnes and Noble or Amazon or wherever you like, you can get a copy or you can order a copy direct from me and you can do that at sashablack.co.uk forward slash store. That is it. I hope you have found these daily tips useful. Thank you so much for watching. Go enjoy the book. Shitting my pants. <laughs>